Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habtu fillah continue on in our study of shar sunnah lil imam al muzni rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatan wasi'a which is a very important text explaining the ittiqad or aqida or creed of ahlus sunnati wal jamaa and this was the way of the salaf meaning this was the methodology of how many of the books of creed were written by the salaf that they were books that were written in simplicity with limited uh ibarat or statements clarifying the creed of ahlus sunnati wal jamaa and often written as a fatwa or a religious verdict or decree uh or at the request of a questioner who wanted to know the asul of ahlus sunnah and so we reach the portion of the treatise where imam al muzni was talking about the malaika the angels and in his fashion he mentions in a very simple uh style about some of the jobs of the angels and that this is a pillar of iman because we know that iman comprises of six pillars and it is only befitting when we talk about the creed of ahlus sunnah and we have a text like sharh as sunnah you know the explanation of the sunnah a, a text which is defining and clarifying and emphasizing the creed of ahlus sunnah that from the creed of ahlus sunnah is the pillars of iman as it came in the hadith of jibril alayhi salatu wasalam in which jibril alayhi salatu wasalam came in the form of a man and he asked the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam about iman he asked him about islam he asked him about iman he asked him about ihsan all of these important uh levels of islam So in asking about iman that forms the basis of our iman of our faith and of our understanding of iman as an islamic term that it is comprised of the six pillars and so he said what is what is iman akhbirni an iman tell me about iman the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in tu'mina billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wal yawm al akhir wa tu'mina bi qadri khayrihi wa shar So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded by saying that iman it is to believe in Allah there's our tawhid in tu'mina billahi wa malaikatihi and his angels and that's the shahid that's the point the important uh, the reason I'm mentioning this hadith and the the reason I'm emphasizing this is because this is the topic that Imam Al-Mazni Al-Mazni is uh about to expound upon and that is that from our iman and from the creed of ahlus sunnati wal jamaa is belief in the angels that there are angels that we haven't seen that this is umur ghaibiya so this has to do with our aqida our creed what we believe even though we've never seen the malaika so uh and and back in reference to the uh, just to uh clarify the hadith or uh translate it so he said in tu'mina billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasuli it is to believe in allah and to believe in uh tu'mina billahi wa malaikatihi and his angels wa kutubihi and his books wa rusulihi and his messengers alayhim afdhal salatu wa salam wa tu'minu bi uh wal yawm al wal yawm al akhir and the day of judgment 
and believing in divine destiny, the good and the bad of it, meaning the qadr, the divine decree. And we talked about the decree, the qadr, in the prior lesson. So that shows that all of this forms the aqid of Ahl Sunnah. So whenever you are questioned about what, what does it mean, the aqid of Ahl Sunnah, wa jama'ah, what are we talking about? That That is Islam, that is Iman, that those, those principles, the, that is what forms the... Those are the pillars of the religion, Islam, the pillars of Islam, and then the pillars of Iman. That makes up uh, the, the creed of Ahl Sunnah in general and all the details that are within. So Imam al-Muzni, in this fashion, he said, خَلَقَ الْخَلْقِ بِمَشِيَتِهِ مِنْ غَيْرَ حَاجِتٍ كَانَتْ بِهِ فَخَلَقَ الْمَلَائِكَ جَمِيعًا لطاعته وجبلهم على عبادته فمنهم الملائكة بقدرته للعرش حاملون وطائف منهم حول العرش يسبحون وآخرون بحمده يقدسون واصطف منهم رسولا so Imam al-Mazni, he said that Allah created the creation with his will, without any need for the creation. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no hajjah for his creation. So he created all of the angels for his obedience, and he made them naturally inclined towards his worship. So the, the, the malaika they are inclined, it's from their origin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them and out of his divine wisdom, he made them to where they're strictly obedient to him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't have a choice, unlike mankind. Imma shakirin wa imma kafura, as we mentioned. Either being grateful and thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshiping him and doing the righteous deeds and all those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, or being disobedient and disbelieving in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the human beings, of course, they have the choice. But the malaika, no. So he says, so from them are angels who carry the throne by his power. And there is a group from amongst them who surround the throne glorifying him. And there are others who praise and venerate him. And he chose messengers from amongst them, and some of them carry out his command. So here, in general, Imam al-Muzni is giving a general description in a very short and concise way, articulating the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah and telling us about some of the duties of the Malaika, of the angels. Imam Ahmed al-Najmi, rahmatin wasi'a, he mentions about this uh, statement of Imam al-Muzni in his explanation of the text. He says, and I say, Al-Iman bil malaika ruqn min arkan al-Iman sitta as-sitta. Kama anna al-Iman bi qadri ruqnun min arkan al-Iman. So this is just as we already mentioned. So Imam Ahmed, uh, Imam Ahmed al-Najmi, he says that Iman in the angels is a pillar from amongst the pillars of the, the six pillars of Iman. And similar to the way that Iman in the Qadr, the decree, the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is a pillar from amongst the pillars, the six pillars of Iman in the same fashion. And then he says, فَالْمَلَائِكَ خَلَقَهُمُ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ وَجَمِيَ الْخَلْقِ مِنْ غَيْرِ حَاجَةٍ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَكِنْ خَلَقَهُمْ لِحِكْمَةٍ And so then Imam Ahmed mentions, he says, the angels, they were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all of them, or, or and all of the creation was created without any need for them. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need us. 
Allah Taala doesn't need the malaika. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala didn't need the messengers alayhim afdal salatu was salam. But he subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his divine hikmah, his divine wisdom, he created them. And he gave human beings also the choice, in shakirin or imma kafura, either to be grateful and thankful or to be disobedient. But he gave us choices. We live our lives, we make decisions, and we strive for various things that we strive for. So we have a choice. And all of this is in accordance with the divine hikmah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us and tests us with different, uh, different tests and different trials and different tribulations to see which one will be the best from amongst us and who will do the best deeds, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions. So this is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine wisdom and his hikmah. And likewise, the situation with him, tabarak wa ta'ala, uh, creating the mala'ika, for the purpose of worshiping him and having no uh, and, and having no choice and being totally obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he mentions, he says, he created them uh, for a purpose, meaning the malaika. He created the angels for a purpose. And he has different tasks that he wants them to perform. He said, so some of the malaika, or he says, all the malaika, all the angels, are restricted to obedience to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the malaika, they don't have a choice, as we mentioned. And they are not disobedient to him, even in the slightest way or slightest fashion or slightest manner. The malaika are completely subservient to Allah Azza wa Jal. Unlike us, again, we have the choice. And unfortunately, Wallahu Musta'an, we often choose the latter to be ungrateful, to be disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know that we know this from our intellectual capacity and of course the Nasus that we're disobedient. We know this. This is not a, a mystery for anyone. Everyone knows. And in accordance with the Nasus, one of the texts which lets us know as human beings that we we all commit sins is the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said, Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khatayina tuwabu. All the children of Adam, they make sins. They make mistakes. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. So, Ibadullah, repent to Allah Azza wa Jal. And that's first and foremost advice to myself before my brothers and sisters. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to be of the Tawabin wa Mutatahirin. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And then, so Imam uh, Ahmed al Najmi, he, he mentions also, he says, Faman hum hamalat al arsh. And this is also what uh, Imam uh, al-Muzani had mentioned in there and made ishara to. He said, so from uh, amongst them, meaning some of the angels, is those who carry the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then there are those who are, who are near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And... They are around the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in this right, in this regard, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al-kareem, Al-ladhina yahmaloon al-arsha wa man hawlahu, wa man hawlahu, yusabbihuna bihamdi rabbihim, wa yu'minuna bih, wa yasaghfiruna lil-ladhina amanu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ghafir, verse 7, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And those who carry the throne and that are around it, so meaning around the throne. So this is Dalil to show that there are those angels that carry the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and those that are around the arsh. What do they do? Yusabihuna bihamdi rabbihim. They praise and give all the praise to their Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So their job, some of them, is to carry the throne, and some of them are around the throne, and all of them are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're all showing perfect ibadah to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيُؤْمِنُونَ bi," And they believe in Him. They believe in their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا And they seek forgiveness for those who believe. So those are, in this ayah, we see at least three or four different tasks that the malaika do that are just mentioned in this, in this ayah. First, there's a group of malaika angels that carry the throne. Secondly, there's a group of malaika that are around the throne. Third, they all... Praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And fourthly, they also, they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of them believe. So in fact, and there's a fifth task that they are, that is mentioned in here. They also, يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لِلَّذِينَ amanu, And they seek forgiveness for those who believe. So that means a part of the the immortal ghaybiyah, the, 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 the unseen world, is that there are malaika, there are angels seeking forgiveness for you and I. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of all our sins. I mean, I mean, ya Rabbil Alameen. So those are some of the tasks that are mentioned. Then Imam Ahmed, he mentions, he says, وَمِنْهُمْ مَلَائِكَ جَعَلَهُمْ اللَّهُ رُسُولًا يَأْمَرُهُمْ بِأَمْرِهِ فَيَأْتَمِرُونَ He said, and from the angels are those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made as messengers, delivering a message. He commands them with His command. And they are totally obedient in filling, fulfilling it. Women whom, and from them are those who, uh, who record, record our deeds. And from them are also those who are responsible for the Punishments, you know, the punishment in the grave and questioning in the grave. And there are those that are, have a responsibility with regards to the wind and those that have a responsibility with regards to the hellfire and those that are guardians of Jannah. And there are those that are guardians or, or uh, that are tasked with responsibilities regarding the sea and the, the mountains. And there are those that are charged with the Samawat, the heavens. And they all worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there are many nasus to show us the various tasks of the Malaika. Imam al Tahawi, he mentions in his book, Aqidat al Tahawiyah. He says, 
as a part of the itqad of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, he says, وَيُؤْمِنُوا بِكِرَامِ الْكَاتِبِينَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ جَعَلَهُمْ عَلَيْنَا حَافِذِينَ He says, we believe in the honorable scribes. Allah has appointed them as guardians over us. So that's another task that the malaika are tasked with. And that is as guardians and scribes over all that we do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَإِنَّ عَلَيْكَمْ حَافِرِينَ كِرَامٍ كَاتِبِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ مَا تَفْعَلُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Infitar uh, And upon you are guardians, the honored scribes, they know what you do. So none of our deeds can escape Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as part of our, our itiqad and our creed, he's not in need of the malaika. And he knows fully what they will write. And he is not in need of their writing. But he subhanahu wa ta'ala has still tasked them with this task. He says, and upon you are guardians, the honored scribes, kiram and katibin. They know what you do. Nothing escapes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the love, la yakhfa alayhi shayan fil ardi wa la fil sama. Verily, there is nothing which is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the, in the earth or in the heavens. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitab al kareem, is. يَتَلَقَّ مُتَلَقِّيَانِ عَنِ الْيَمِينِ وَعَنِ الشِّمَالِ قَعِيدٌ مَا يُلَفَّظُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem When the two angels meet together positioning themselves on either side of the man not a word he utters but by him is an observer ready to write down that's also further evidence from the Qur'an to show us that we have these kiram and katibin, these honor, honorable scribes, meaning the malaika, that are recording our every word and every action we do. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, He says, Am yahsibuna or do they think we do not hear their secret and their whispers? Nay, our messengers, meaning the malaika, are with them writing them down. This is also further evidence to show that we have malaika that are tasked with recording our deeds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referred to them as rusul, as uh, messengers. And in some of the, uh, you know, we have a hadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There is uh, in a, a, a authentic hadith, where the Prophet ﷺ said, You are followed up by the evening angels and the morning angels. They meet together at the time of dawn and afternoon prayers. As those that were with you ascend to the heavens, he asked, and he knows better than them. In what state did you leave my slaves? They replied, When we were with them, they were praying. And when we left them, they were praying. So this lets us know that they record our deeds. And that the malaika are tasked, and there's many ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which illustrate more in detail about some of the tasks of the malaika. But that suffices us with regards to uh, our study of this classical text. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct, Anything I said that was incorrect was for myself, the Shaytan. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد